name is Hugh Poston, and this is my capstone project. I plan to inform and teach the basic fundamentals of marksmanship to be used as entertainment, hobby, or recreation in the Oakdale community. Like tennis, golf, or any other sport, marksmanship takes place in dedication. Perhaps one day, O'Neill might consider adding it to their sports electives. Marksmanship, by definition, is a skill in shooting. A marksman is a person who is skilled in shooting a mark or a person who shoots well. The term marksman was first used in the Middle Ages. It was the name given to rural archers or bowmen. Today, marksmanship generally applies to the use of a gun or a rifle, but can include someone that is marked mastered ac accurate shooting with a bow and arrow. In this tutorial, I will cover the basics of handling, carry for, and target practice required to become a marksman. Many people dislike guns because they are afraid of them. Knowledge takes the fear out of most things, and guns are no different. To begin with, one must know how to properly handle and hold a gun. The first thing when holding a gun is to check if it is loaded and the safety is on. Always assume a gun is loaded, even if someone tells you it's not. If you don't know the specific gun and how to check it, do not take it into your possession. Always handle a gun with the barrel pointed in the safe direction, either to the ground or to the sky. If it is a rifle slung over your shoulder, this includes while cleaning the gun and the gun barrel. Always keep your finger off the trigger until you have the gun aimed at your target. Although your trigger seems like a natural place to keep your finger, don't do it! Your finger should be straight, resting against the side of the trigger guard. Remember, anything you point your gun at could possibly be shot, whether you meant to or not. Always be careful where the muzzle is aimed. Always be aware of your target and what is on the other side. If you missed your mark, would it harm anything or anyone? Make sure when shooting at targets, if a bullet ricochets, penetrates further than expected, or strays further than expected, no one or nothing can be harmed. Always store your guns safely. Keep ammo and guns separate. If you have children, keep the guns locked away. Once they are old enough, then teach them gun safety. Always use eye and ear protection while shooting. Never hand a gun to someone that doesn't know or how to follow the rules of gun safety. There are many different types of weapons marksmen like to use for target practice. The three I plan to show are a 1911 .45 caliber pistol, an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle, and a Browning automatic shotgun. The 1911 .45 caliber pistol is best used for short range target practice. Contrary to popular belief, when using a pistol, the further the target is or if the target is moving, it is harder to come in contact with. An AR-15 type automatic with scope is for precision long range aim, best used with a stand or a solid base. A grinding automatic shotgun is for your basic skate or clay pigeon shooting. Depending on your targets and how far away they are, this will define the weapon of your choice. In this video, I will be displaying these fundamentals of marksmanship I have described. To begin with, the 1911 .45 caliber pistol, best used for short range shooting. When using a pistol, targets are usually large and at close range. The smaller the target and further the distance distinguishes a good marksman from a great marksman. I will be shooting at various sized targets at a distance of 20 feet to demonstrate the accuracy it takes to hit your mark. My next demonstration will be an AR-15 type semi-automatic rifle with scope for precision. Long range. Special results when used with a stand or solid base. I'll be using this table as my stand. Once again, I'll be shooting at various size targets. It's just going through the can. Finally, the Browning Automatic Shotgun. I use mine for ski shooting, best known as clay pigeon shooting. This involves shooting a moving target, which is more difficult. 
it is easier to hitch a monk on its way up rather than on its descent. Oh! Got it, now hit it upside yeah. down! My help in creating this video is to enlighten people on the enjoyment that can be obtained by using gun safety. Perfecting your ability at hitting various targets at challenging distances can be as fun as hitting a ball into a hole 500 yards away. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know we enjoyed making it. Now, if you will excuse me, I've got things to do. Hasta la vista, baby. I'll be back.